Hi everyone, we're back with a new instructional video for LittleSys users. Today we're going to learn how to enter new entities into the LittleSys database, as well as new relationships between entities. When we talk about an entity, we're simply referring to an individual or organization. In fact, all entities in LittleSys fall under one of these two labels. Common entities that we put into the LittleSys database might be politicians, corporate executives, lobbyists, board members, corporations, and NGOs and nonprofits, things like that. Entities are the basic units of the LittleSys database. Here's an example of an entity, Donald Trump. You see that when you go to the entity profile of Donald Trump, it has information about him, as well as his different relationships. There's a lot to explore here. By adding entities into the LittleSys database, you can store your research for you and others to use, and you can also begin to see larger power networks that you're up against, and this can help you strategize. So let's try entering a new entity. Let's call this entity Hedge Fund. Now, keep in mind, this is a fake entity. I'm going to go and delete this entry after this video is over, but the process that I go through to enter the entity is exactly what you will use when you enter a real entity. So the first thing I could do is go here to the Little Sis homepage and search for hedge fund. So since it's not in the database, I have to add it. So I clicked, I click, you guessed it, add it. And it takes you to this page. Now I need to fill out the new entity's profile. So first I put the name, then a short description. The short description is important because it's what users will see next to the entity's name when they're looking around. You want to keep it to just a few words. So the name of our entity, remember, is Hedge Fund. And we'll make this our short description simply Wall Street Hedge Fund. So that's telling users that Hedge Fund is a Wall Street Hedge Fund. Next, we need to click on whether the entity is a person or an organization. So we'll click organization or org for our hedge fund. Then we need to click on a more specific category that describes the entity. Ours is easy, business. But you can click on more than one if you need to. And if you're confused about what to click, you can always get in touch with us for help. And now, voila, you have a new entity. You can add more information on this page, such as a fuller description or aliases that the entity might go by. But for now, let's just focus on building out our new entity. So here's the entity's profile page. The first thing to do is start adding relationships between this entity and other entities. To do that, you click on right here, add relationship. Now, we can add relationships to the other entities already in the database. For example, if I enter Donald Trump, we could add that relationship. But let's create another new entity, a person. Let's name them Hedge Fund CEO. So, we do the same thing that we did with Hedge Fund to enter it into the database. Only this time we choose individual and then business person. Why? Because drum roll please, hedge fund CEO is the CEO of hedge fund. So we put name, hedge fund CEO, short description, the CEO of hedge fund. Type, person. And we can make it more specific if we want, business person. And now we go add. So now we need to actually fill out the relationship. First, we choose relationship category here on the left side of the screen. For this, we choose position because Hedge Fund CEO has a position, CEO, in Hedge Fund. Next, we need to add a source because we want to have a source that proves the relationship. We want LittleSys to be a reliable database for people. So relationships we enter need to be based on credible sources. What's a credible source? Things like official documents or serious media sources, for instance, an SEC filing or a New York Times article, but probably not something like a Reddit post or a TMZ article. 
For this relationship, we'll just put the URL to the New York Times, though you'd want to make sure you put in a specific article that references the relationship you're entering. So we'll put this New York Times URL, and we'll just put New York Times article 2017 as the title of the source. Then we hit Create Relationship, and here we go. From here, we can add more info. For example, the title, CEO, the start date, let's say uh, May, let's say 2008, May. There we go. We could add salary compensation. Let's put 20 million. Remember though, no commas. We can also click a few of these other options here. Is current? Yes. Is board member? Sure. Executive? Yes. Employee? Let's put unknown. You could also add some notes about the, the relationship if you wanted to. Then we go and click update. Now, if you go to one of the entity's pages, you can see the relationship, hedge fund, leadership and staff, hedge fund CEO, CEO of hedge fund. You click here and you get information on the relationship. So hopefully you get the gist of this. The thing to do after this would be to keep entering new entities and keep building out the relationships of the entities you've entered. That will allow you to make full use of the LittleSys database. You'll find that once you start entering the relationship between new entities and those already in the database, many of which already have their own ex extensive relationships entered, you can really start to map out the networks of power. So stay tuned for more instructional videos, but for now, go have some fun entering new entities and relationships into LittleSys.